In this video, I want to just briefly show you how you can combine some sound effects to actually create sort of new noises. Um, what I mean by that is that oftentimes when they create sound effects, for example, here's an explosion. Let me turn this down a little bit. So we've got different explosions. So that one has kind of more uh, flames to it. I'm just going to hit OK. And this one has more of a crashing noise. And so I might actually use that one as well. Um, here's some impacts and crashes. Okay, so there's like some metal like noises. Um, there's another one that I'm going to, I'm going to sort of look at these and combine them. Then maybe I'm going to come into, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this air valve blast maybe as well. I'm just sort of playing with this a little bit. I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to sort of layer these sounds on top of each other to get some different uh, sort of sounds out of it. Okay, I don't love that right there. Maybe right there. So that sounds a lot better than just that. Right? Does that make sense? So by just combining a bunch of different sounds, and I could obviously spend more time and make this a lot better, by combining a lot of these sounds, I come up with a much better sound. So um, don't just look in one area. You, you might even go to like people, and maybe you're gonna have, like maybe you can find a way to fit breath in there. I don't know. I don't. Maybe that doesn't really work very well. Yeah, I, don't, I don't love it. But the idea is that you might go through a bunch of these and try and combine a lot of the the sound effects together. And again, you've got Final Cut Pro sound effects and you've got the iLife sound effects. So combining all of these together might help you create a better overall sound. So that's sort of dealing and adding with adding sound effects into your project.